Hi, I'm Chuck, and I'm part of a movement called No Place Left, where we're engaging the lost with the gospel, making disciples, planting churches in the darkest places, and multiplying leaders, and all the while abiding deeply in Christ so that every man, woman, and child on the planet will hear the gospel and have the opportunity to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior until there's no place left. And we've been talking about how to share the gospel and how to train people to share the gospel with a 411. Four questions, one sheet of paper in one hour. And now we're on the third question. The first question was, why do I share the gospel? Second question, who do I share with? And then the third, right here on this paper, as we open the booklet, is what do I share? And we're going to teach you how to share your story in one minute. Now, in order to do that, what I want you to do is I want you to draw on your paper, I want you to draw three columns and then, a, then one line across the top, just like this. Okay? So, in the first column on the left, I want you to write before. In the middle, I want you to write how. And then the column on the far right, I want you to write now. Okay, it should look just like this, okay? Before, how, now. Then, in the before column, I want you to think of two words that would describe your life before you started following Jesus. For me, it was confused and afraid. Now, for some others, it might be angry, disappointed, uh, betrayed, um, without purpose, all kinds of different words to describe our lives before Christ. So mine were confused, and afraid and I just write those two words in the before column right here now in the how column what I want you to do is draw a cross and a crown very simple you don't have to be an artist and on the left side of the cross I want you to draw an arrow down and on the right side an arrow up just like that. And so what we have is the cross and a crown with the arrow down and the arrow up. It's the essence of the gospel that Jesus came to earth, lived a perfect life, died on a cross for our sins, was buried and rose again. And now he's the king of kings, the essence of the gospel. And then lastly, in the now column, what I want you to do is write two words that would describe your life now that you're following Christ. For me, it's courage and peace. Now, for some others, it may be uh, joy, happiness, uh, purpose, uh, direction, those kinds of words, fulfillment. So me... It's courage and peace. And then at the bottom, after you get done writing your two words in the now column, I want you to write this question. Is there anything, is there anything that would keep you from receiving God's forgiveness and making Jesus your Lord, King, Boss, making Jesus your king question mark 
Now this question is pretty important because this is what helps people make a decision. So is there anything that would keep you from receiving God's forgiveness and making Jesus your king? All right, so very simple. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the two words before and the two words after it and make a few phrases out of it and then put the gospel right in the middle of our story. And I'm going to share my story with you so that you kind of hear what it's like. And then you're going to stop the video and you're going to practice your story about five times sharing it. And remember that you're going to share the question at the end. So this will be one story in one minute with one question at the end. So here's my story, and if you want to time me, you're welcome to. So when I was a young man, I was a paratrooper, and I was scared to death of jumping out of airplanes. So I made a deal with God. If you open my parachute, I'll go to church every Sunday. So one Sunday, this special forces guy came up to me and said, why are you coming to church? I said, I made a deal with God. He said, that's cool. But do you know that Jesus came to earth, lived a perfect life, and died on a cross for our sins? And he was buried and rose again from the dead. And now he's the king of kings. And if you receive his forgiveness and make him your boss, your king, he will give you courage jump out of those airplanes and so I did that I received God's forgiveness made him my boss and I've had courage and peace ever since through 29 years in the army and for 37 years since then and here's my question for you is there anything that would keep you from receiving God's forgiveness and making Jesus your king so there's my story one minute with uh basically one question at the end and one story so one story one minute one question so what i want you to do right now is pause the video and just practice your one minute story five times at least and if you're together tell each other your one minute story and get it down to a minute if you don't have it in a minute the first couple of times don't worry about it but just work on it right now. So pause the video, practice, practice, practice. Okay, you practice, right? Okay, good. So why one minute? Well, we're really just introducing people to the gospel, introducing them to Jesus, and we're using a very short story, our story, to do it, just like the demoniac telling them the great things that the Lord has done for them. And then we want to engage them in conversation. People sometimes complain that this is too short. This is only to get the conversation started. And what we want to hear is where they're at. If they're not a believer yet, we invite them to a relationship with Jesus by receiving God's forgiveness and making Jesus their boss. They repent from their ways and move to God's ways. Secondly, if they're believers, now we're going to train them, if they don't know how to share the gospel, in how to share the gospel. And I do that, oh great, you're a believer, what's your story? Can I help you with that story? And so that's how we share our story, one story, one minute, with one question at the end. And that answers the question of, what do I share? Practice, practice, practice. Coming up next is when, question mark. And until then, keep making disciples until there's no place left.